We're going to trade the NBA.com. This is Jones Reporters for the 12th. That was pretty darn easy for the other day. Um, literally, we've talked about this below the 50%. Uh, it was more negative, and we started off a little bit there and turned around and was nonstop. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, NVIDIA made their remarks that they just can't uh, supply chips fast enough, and that was all the market needed to drive itself to new highs. Um, and of course, pundits that were saying that uh, Harris won the debate, so that fit within their you know narrative trait. And there you have the turnaround, and we're right at the. Of course, it stopped right at the algo conveniently after having filled it. Uh, you know, we filled all the yellow. Uh, setups which were just barely underneath the uh, uh, trigger for uh, full uh, retraces but literally this was just a return back to 50 percent popping right back up uh, everything still in line on track uh, you know the worries about the fed not uh, going to be giving them the full cut eh, it was too obvious to take the negative trade on that and so you've got a lot of shorts trapped in this situation and uh, it was a beautiful short cover move and worked very nicely so uh, just as new bulls will get excited, uh, they'll flip it around and do it. But this is what we were talking about from that daily, the, the orange dipping below um, and the automatic turnaround from a DOC from the uh, excessive dip. That's why, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's, we discussed it, and that's the whole point. Uh, it was rather obvious that there was going to be that uh, turnaround bounce. So uh, Treasury said again, I just amazing the amount of money these guys are losing on a daily basis and just happy about it uh, go figure <laughs> from an oil standpoint uh, well you get the hurricane uh, so you got to close some facilities that uh, definitely is going to squeeze uh, supplies um, and it's very strange because I mean you have others reporting about the inventory drops and yet oil has been plummeting um, just kind of right in the perfect timing uh, that was needed. So, yeah, go figure. And for some reason, you know, there hasn't been any new attacks on Russian uh, oil facilities or anything like that. So it's all been a dream case. Uh, who could have imagined at that point that just have everything perfectly work out to exactly around the ranges where I was saying needed to be for, uh, you know, benefit. Um, but you did have the CPI come in hotter uh, than expected, uh, which does make it difficult for the Fed to justify doing a bigger uh, rate cut, but uh, who knows, maybe that's what their plan is. Um, even a quarter point is just crazy with the deficit you're running, but that's all right. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, it is an election year. Uh, from a Euro standpoint, uh, yeah, that's uh, still way elevated, but uh, very easy for them now with the uh, softening in uh, oil prices, definitely going to help. Uh, from a eurozone standpoint so that will uh, save them from having to transfer those dollars but again you're seeing that this is not impacting gold any way shape or form it's going to continue to move in this direction and it will break to new highs it's just an accumulation um, you can see central government still buying large quantities and it's not stopping uh, that did give some support to crypto bitcoin uh, just right at that uh, uh, previous algo level. I mean, there's no huge excitement uh, here at this particular stage, particularly if the market's doing well. Um, you're not getting this gravitation to where other people need to flee to safety at this particular stage. So uh, big money is uh, content with being in the market at this particular stage. So that's where they're at. Uh, ETH still floundering. Um, it's interesting to see that, but that's kind of a maturity. So for all the whining and moaning about this being super high beta and everything, they far more stabilized now than they have been in quite some time. So what does that tell you? Yeah, not a whole lot. <laughs> Here was the 50K. How beautiful is this? So we get this nice short little signal. Boom, comes down, turns around right at the 23%. And yeah, it's a walk in the park all the way up. So it's quite nice to look at it there color-wise. I mean, it worked out beautifully.
no objections whatsoever. And this is what it looked like from an intraday five minutes. So it started off early in the morning and similar situation turned around. A little fight in between there. You can see uh, once the MBI white got shoved below that minus 10, it was nonstop pretty much most of the way. And even when it tried, there were tiny little moves. Uh, but uh, it was all pretty healthy. And you can see with them uh, cyan below red all the way through. Not to mention, um, that's where we get that... Uh, steel uh, dipping below and when it stays down below in that range you know you've got your full reset so uh, any weakness when it's below the negative 13.5 is made up for as soon as it pops back above and uh, you just continue that cycle going all the way through and shorts just get massacred uh, not watching that uh, we're seeing here in this uh, latest 5k uh, white NBA leading, so still plenty of shorts trying to attempt to find where the peak is on this, but Magenta is still staying above yellow, so uh, they're just digging their own hole in that particular case. That's the long and the short of it. As always, anything relevant, put it in the Skype chat. Have a good one. Trade well.